This week on Monsters of Destruction Behind the Scenes, we'll turn to Phoenix, Arizona for some high-flying monster truck freestyle action. And we'll sit down with Larry Swim, the driver of the three-time world champion monster truck Barefoot, and find out what he's been up to. Then we'll go behind the scenes and take a look at one of the coolest haulers in the business. And that's not it. We'll check in on the MOT Tour for round eight highlights for Phoenix. But first, let's take a look at one of the baddest off-road shops in the business, flying high out of Phoenix, Arizona. This company has everything you need to fix up your 4x4 truck, and if you can think of it, they can do it. Flying High was originated back in 1981. Uh, Mark Dye and his brother, Mike, uh, formed it. It was basically an off-road accessory business. Um, FST was created later on, basically for the fabrication aspect of it. Everybody wanted bolt-on accessories in the early days, and then things became a little more high-tech where you needed fabrication done, and FST was created for that, which is fabricated suspension technologies. Well, we've built uh, everything from pre-runners, off-road race trucks. Uh, we built uh, vehicles for people to uh, just cruise in vehicles, uh, high riders, basically anything that anybody has a dream and wants to create it, we can do it here at FST at Flying High. We have retail stores in the valley. We have four retail stores. We also have uh, Flying High online, uh, www.flyinghigh.com. And you can buy the stuff on the internet or you can come to our local stores, you can speak with some of our service techs, tell them what you want to do, and basically we can give you a quote over at FST on creating anything that you guys would want to have done. You can't think of everything. Every day there's somebody that comes in with a new idea. It just adds to our business. It's, 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 it's the best part of the sport. Well, the rear of this truck has uh, 44 inches of wheel travel. The front has about 24 inches of wheel travel. Um, you can go across the desert, hit two foot whoop de doos in this thing, and uh, run 80 to 100 miles an hour. This thing rides better than my car on the street over two foot whoop de doos. It's just, it's amazing what suspension can do nowadays. This is a wheel that we're making. This wheel weighs 29 pounds. It's the strongest, lightest forged wheel out there on the market right now. We expect delivery on these wheels when, in about two weeks. So there'll be a new product coming out that FST will offer. So if you need a set, call us. Give these guys a call and they can make your 4x4 dreams come true. I don't know about you, but the freestyle action from Phoenix is some of the best we've seen so far this year on the MOD Tour. So sit back and enjoy. Monsters of Destruction Behind the Scenes is brought to you by Amerigas, America's largest propane company, and by MonsterTruckStore.com, your online source for all monster truck merchandise, and by Cruising Tees, the ultimate in motorsports art. 
Now let's take a look at the newest member of the MOD Tour, barefoot driver Larry Swim. Fred Schaefer built this truck years ago. Barefoot has been around. I remember watching Barefoot as a kid. Um, Fred always did a really good job. Truck, he built the truck to go fast, and he, he did just that. And uh, I'm just glad to be in this truck and hopefully keeping it fast. I've, we've been doing a pretty good job with this Barefoot truck, and uh, hopefully I can keep the name alive. Keeping the name alive is exactly what Larry has been doing. He is no rookie when it comes to driving monster trucks, and with his experience, he has proven to everyone around that he is a contender in the monster truck wars. But having to live up to icon Fred Schaefer is a very big task for anyone. Um, I've been driving for about five years. We've been doing a lot of fairs. We do a lot of indoor arenas. But in the summertime, we get the big outdoor tracks, and that's that's where it's at. I get to open this big Hemi up and. Uh, show the people what it's got. Um, I worked for a couple other guys with monster trucks and uh, he needed a driver one weekend and I flew in for one show and uh, I did that show and then he gave me a job offer and I've been driving since. Oh, Paul's a good guy. He, he's got his moments. He's got a hundred things going on but uh, he's treated me right and I'm just happy to be working for him. He gave me the chance to live my dream and here I am. We look forward to seeing Larry and Barefoot down the road. Now let's go behind the scenes with Dan Patrick, the driver of Samson, to see the coolest hauler in the business. This is the transporter we haul the Samson in. Um, of course we take the big tires off and you'll see that we have the small tires here that are called the transport tires. You, you take the big tires off, you put the small ones on, it comes in, goes up here on the floor, then the big tires go in the back and you put two tires, all four tires stack on top of each other. Then the, the, the whole thing is based around, it's a mobile shop, a lounge, living area, and when we we're racing, the, the cabinets on the side, those all fold up and this becomes a work area and those are workbenches underneath um, the carpet which sets the truck when after a race drips off and things, so there's carpet there, but underneath there there's all storage under there. There's rear end housings, differentials, oil, lubricants, parts washer. Um, sometimes I like to take it open it up and make a hot tub in there, but got got to carry parts. Then also in your shop, you'll see we have spare parts here. We've, we've got rear end housings we have brought for other customers and things like that. Sometimes become a rolling warehouse too for our customers. But um, we also keep all we do all of our welding. So we've got welding cabinets, it's all built in. There's a Healy Arc machine here. There's a wire feed welder down here. This is all supplies and, and things to repair the truck. All of our gases and stuff are up there, liquid nitrogen and, and things like that. The trailer is all self-contained. It has a 20,000 watt generator. Um, it's totally air conditioned and heated, so it's a year round unit. Now we'll go up into, the, this is kind of also a shop area. Then this is our wardrobes for racing gear, um, tools, we'll keep plenty of tools, wrenches, things like that. So, parts. Like this is for cylinder heads, this is clutch parts, this is fuel parts, these are shock parts. We keep everything organized because being a one-man operation on the road, I've got to know where everything's at. I can't be digging through boxes looking for things. This is also a work area. This is kind of the galley also. We've got a microwave, refrigerator, a full-size bath, and this is electronics cabinet. Uh, printers and stuff from the computers are in here. Um, engine compartment, we carry a spare motor. Then you come up into the lounge. What you get there? And this is just for relaxing and also we have an office here, computer. Um, we have a computer on the Samson truck that downloads data into the computer. Then at night after the race is over, I'll go back and uh, look through the graphs and things and see if everything's working pretty well. 
our computer monitors 29 functions. You know, a, a 10 second run, I can study it for three or four hours. I mean, it's just, we've, we've got that high tech in our industry. But then, you see, this is the lounge, kind of relax. Then you go up into, up into the upper section. For relaxing, and then there's a full size bed, king size bed. I have a home entertainment center here. There's home theater, there's satellite television, there's satellite radio. So uh, it's uh, when you travel as much as we do and as long as we do, you gotta have some comfort. If you welcome back to Monsters of Destruction behind the scenes, let's head out to Glendale, Arizona for highlights of round eight of the MOD tour. And we're set to go for qualifier number one in the straight line drags. Both getting a good start. Whoa, getting a little sideways there. And that is, uh, that's Monster Patrol. And he knocked over the scoring tower. So Kevin Harvick, Amber Skywalker, 3.166 seconds. Monster Patrol, 3.387. He number two now in straight line drags. The monster moves. Brad Campbell right there. A good close-up look at him against Rick Swanson in Line X Obsession. Line X on the uh, on the right side of your screen. That's Rick Swanson, who's done color for us here before on the Monsters of Destruction, going up against young Brad Campbell. We've said that before, when he first saw his first monster truck race at the Seattle Kingdom when he was five years old, he says, I'm going to own one of those trucks. And that's exactly what happened. Here, let's watch the start. Monster Moose on the left, Obsession on the right, the Amerigas truck. Uh-oh, a problem with Brad Campbell and Rick Swanson, a flawless run. He hits the ground and just stays on the gas. And here comes uh, the Monster Moose, some kind of a problem, maybe a transmission, I'm not sure. He did not, did not finish. Tough break for young Campbell. So the results, Line X Obsession of 3.368 clocking and Monster Moose a DNF. E number three brings Barefoot up against Dragon Slayer. And Barefoot, a three-time world champion, up against a, a, a machine that's been doing extremely well lately, Frank Christensen in the Dragon Slayer. There's Barefoot on this side of the screen. They get off fairly easily, evenly, and it looks like the victory goes to Dragon Slayer. Craig Christensen's been tough to beat. 3.040, 3.498 seconds for Barefoot. We go now to semi number one. This will bring out Rick Swanson and Line X Obsession against the young, beautiful number 29 Kevin Harvick truck of Amber Skywalker. Line X on the right. There you go with Amber Skywalker on the left. This is a semi. The winner goes to the main. Here's the start. Very even, but it looks like, yep, it's Line X Obsession. 3.266 seconds right behind him. 3.501 for Amber Skywalker. So semi number two. Uh, a surprise, Dragon Slayer against Public Disturbance, and Curtis Stone did not expect to be in this semi. He's on the left, Dragon Slayer on the right, and, and you got to wonder what Christensen's thinking, because he just saw this kid beat his stepson, Paul Jensen. Here's the start. Even though no, Dragon Slayer gets a little bit of a, a, a drive on him, and it's Dragon Slayer taking the victory. Let's check the clock. 3.029, a blistering time against 3.807 by Curtis Stone. That's nothing to be ashamed of. The Tough Country Hummer will go to the main event to take on Rick Swanson. So this is the final. Dragon Slayer against Line X Obsession. There's Swanson in the Amerigas truck. Beautiful yellow and blue. And on the other side, this guy is as serious as a heart attack. He loves to win. Great Christensen out of Utah. He is tough. Well, let's watch him. Line X on the left, Dragon Slayer on the right. Here's a start. This is the main event for all the marbles. Looked to me like Dragon Slayer took it. Let's check the clocks. Whoa, Line X Obsession, 3.433 against 3.442 for, for uh, Christensen. Unbelievable. Swanson, the crowd lights up. They're waving and cheering. And Rick Swanson takes the main event one more time. Again, an even run right off the line, but Line X, by a, just a tiny margin, takes the victory over the veteran, Frank Christensen. One more time, Scott McLemore's crew doing a great job on the cameras. Straight line drags final, Line X concession, Dragon Slayer, Kevin Harvick, Public Disturbance, and Monster Patrol. Let's look at the points. After eight rounds, it's Monster Patrol tied with Dragon Slayer, Bigfoot in third. Let's go down to Raquel on the floor. Well deserved, I have to say.
Thank you very much. You know, we were out here with our sponsors. We had Line X Amerigas out here last night. Unfortunately, first round snapped an axle. We worked for about an hour and a half, got it put back together. Missed the rest of the race and came back to a good freestyle. Came this morning, was another broken axle, fixed that, so we're putting it to the test tonight. Is that a part on these trucks that breaks the easiest, or what is that? No, it just so happened uh, I had some brand new axles made and there was some machining problems and that's what was doing it. You know, you've been over the years a really consistent driver. How do you keep that up? I mean, you, you, get, you get the crowd involved a lot and you've got a lot of fans. What do, you, what do you do to keep that fan base? I just try to do the best I can. You know, I'm really fortunate. My wife and my son, they're the best. They, they work with me all week long, do all my traveling. You know, I've got a great crew here. I got Jeff and Donald and uh, Lisa from Amerigas here helping me. We're just doing what we can. Well, keep it up, Rick. You've been doing a great job. Rick Swanson, everybody, line X obsession. A very happy Rick Swanson. Congratulations, Rick. We'll be back with more exciting action with the Chicago style racing in just a moment. Don't touch that remote. Month. Monsters of Destruction Behind the Scenes is brought to you by Amerigas, America's largest propane company, and by MonsterTruckStore.com, your online source for all monster truck merchandise, and by Cruise and Tees, the ultimate in motorsports art. With Bigfoot missing in action, Dragon Slayer's Craig Christensen is looking to add to his points to Chicago style racing. Let's head back to Glendale Air. Whatever the reason for the name, it's turned out to be a, a Good luck charm for this machine. Public disturbance against Monster Patrol in semi number one. Now, Monster Patrol, a seasoned veteran, but again, a very long wheelbase truck, has trouble getting around the tight corners here in the, uh, the Glendale Arena. And, and Stone is driving a beautiful race. No problems at all, no mistakes. Staying on the gas. And the win goes to. I think we've got an upset. Let's look at the clocks. We're going out of semi number two. Let's find out who goes up against him. Dragon Slayer against his partner, the Monster Moose, Brad Campbell, who owns both public disturbance and this truck. This is semi number two. Tough Country Dragon Slayer gets out in front. Looks like it. Pretty evenly matched here. Both of them on the gas. Greg Christensen driving again a flawless race. This guy's there. He's now edging ahead. You can see. The checker flag coming out. Let's look at the clocks. And the time goes to Dragon Slayer. 16.315 and 16.951 seconds right behind it. Monster Moose. Well, this is the final, ladies and gentlemen. And again, public disturbance. Curtis Stone finds himself in a main event. I can't believe this. Going up against Dragon Slayer. This is going to be a tough one, though. They launch. Dragon Slayer coming at you. Stone going away from you. There's uh, Craig Christensen and Dragon Slayer. Get down and get right over there. Oh, a problem. Look out. Something happened with the public disturbance. Could not turn, could not get around the corner. Looks like that will hand the victory to Dragon Slayer. And Stone has nothing to be ashamed of as he knocks. Well, he could be ashamed of that. He knocks over the scoring tower, but he heads for the pitch. Dragon Slayer 27 597. Public disturbance did not finish. One more time. Let's take a look at it. And again, Dragon Slayer coming at you, the eventual winner. Now watch what happens with Stone. Curtis Stone, public disturbance, coming up over the cars. Could go oh, almost on the on the up on both wheels, both right wheels, and that was it. So the results: Dragon Slayer, public disturbance second, Monster Moose, Monster Patrol, and Barefoot. And that means that Dragon Slayer is on top after eight rounds, and Bigfoot's going to come back in Winston Salem. Let's go down to Raquel on the floor. You're you talking, you're just crazy. It's just another day in the office. You just get in behind the wheel, stand on the gas, turn the corner. This is what uh, divides the men from the boys. Like I say, I've done it 12 years. I'm very good at the turning course. And uh, it's kind of where I like to shine. It's where I say that you can either uh, show that you're in control of the truck or the truck's in control of you. And I try to get better each and every round. But, you know, there's a, a lot of thanks that needs to go out to each and every one of these drivers. Uh, Curtis is brand new. Come over here, Curtis. You know, he, he's done a heck of a job. He took out, uh, the, you know, the legendary, the man behind the wheel, supposedly, Line X with Rick Swanson. And, uh, yeah. and he's done a great job. Uh, Barefoot, Moss Patrol, even my son, Spider-Man. Yeah, you know, every, 
actually his name ain't Spider-Man, it's Paul, but you know what I mean, but... Now, quickly just tell me, why are you burning so much of that? Is it methanate? What is that? No, I think what we've done is we've burned a hole in a piston. We've burned the motor up. It has no power. It's not taking off. We're going to run outside and see if it's either a piston or an intake gasket. We're going to try and get the thing back together for freestyle, but it, ha it doesn't have any power. It won't respond. And like I say, when I say power, it's probably down to about seven, 800 horse. I'm used to 1,500 horse. And for me, it's just not responding. But, you know, I love freestyle. If there's any way possible, I'm going to get this thing buttoned back up and get back in here. So I'll get Freestyle is your forte, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Like I say, if this one won't run, maybe I'll go kick my son out of the other one and I'll drive it. All right. Craig Christensen, everybody. First place, Chicago Style Racing. Give it up. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's show. Remember, there are men, there are machines, and then there are monsters of destruction.